I realized I'm here now for about seven years. Earlier, you saw a lot of people wearing red. Somehow the idea of Valentine is lost. It's, um, it has commercial aspects and I think people react negatively to that. They don't want to be the one who just buy a lot of stuff on that specific day. So after Valentine, in most of the shops you see piles of Valentine's stuff not being sold and then sold a bit cheaper because it just doesn't go. Many men even don't take their dates out for a Valentine. I plan it for my wife. But uh, I think the commercial aspect of Valentine makes it... Um, it, it takes away the dating aspect. So it's somehow lost, which is a pity. Hey, what's up? Hey, Masha. Are you busy? No. I got a girl for you. Want to go on a date? I met this guy who thinks that he can just bring any girl to you or to anyone and win the challenge. Yeah, sure. Bring it on. Yeah, she's really cute. <laughs> so you look at work, yeah? Uh, you know, I'm going to do something before you bring you back from last time. All right, awesome, awesome. Let's do this. Yeah, when you pick her up, take her to Echo Hotel and be on your perfect behavior. Don't make me look bad. <laughs> Just be good. I'll see you in a couple hours. All right, all right. I guess you have a date. I'll get in contact with my contact and then I will send you the details and we'll see how that goes. Oh, and by the way, check it. My lungs are checking. Yvonne, I'm your diva of love. Do you love me, baby? Do you love my money? Next to this red car. Uh -huh, I'm okay. Okay, cool. We are there. I had to wait for a bit though. But when she came down, it was worth it. It was really worth it. <laughs> really worth it. So, my name is Violet and I am 20. And uh, I've been single for 10 months. But well, Malonza called me up and he's like, Yo, I have this cool guy who I want to go on a date with. So I'm like, do I get to meet him before or do I meet him during the date? So he's like, no, he's going to, you're going to see him before the date. the door for me into I don't disguise he don't open doors for me mm. and that's a new that's not a gentleman first impression he is cool and handsome and tall Tell me more about yourself. Uh, actually, I'm more of a businessman, mm -hmm. more time though. I'm kind of making my mark right now. Cool. Things are going well, actually. Oh, really well. Really? Yeah. What do you do exactly in business? Uh, more firstly, import export. Import export? Of what? Let's don't talk about me so much. Yeah? Let's uh -huh. talk about me. My job is oh. kind of boring. You know? Really? Yeah. Import export is not boring. Ah, it's so boring, trust me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm involved, you know? mm. yeah. Cool. I um as you can see I call myself pretty. I'm not ugly, yes, I wouldn't be here if I was. Yes, Uh-huh. And um I'm twenty by the way. Yes. Is that too young for you? Uh, How old are you? Like the How old are you? Twenty five. 
Wow, cool. I've, I've always said I wouldn't date a guy who was below 24. So Really? Yeah. So Why that's, that's a good that? thing. Because most of them are kind of immature. She had this thing that she dated date guys under 24. I think she goes for mature, more guys who are focused and all that ambition. More, which I think that's what I am right now. Because in my life right now, that's where I am. I feel I'm doing good. Success is going great. Everything's just perfect. So I think I qualify. Actually, perfect for a criteria. What do you do during the day? Um, um, I, I, I go to school partly, yeah. So not like every day. Just nothing. But I'm in school. Sociology and geography. Archaeology, archaeology or something. Exactly, like exactly. That's what you're doing. Yeah, you're the first guy who has actually guessed that. That's Everyone good. asks me if I want to be a teacher. <laughs> and I'm so depressed. Oh my God. People don't think beyond this. Like he saw beyond this at Yonoko. So yeah, it was cool. He thought about archaeology, which basically is the field I am interested in and the field I want to take. Uh -huh. I don't have not too much of a wine drinker. Uh, uh, do you have fresh juice? Uh, passion, please. Cold. Thank you. No, it's it's acceptable considering it's Valentine's and it was. An evening, if it was any other regular date, had liquor the first day, uh-uh, the first, it, it's cool, I think, the fact that it's Valentine is an exception for it, so I would have taken also tequila, I just decided to be a lady and take passion juice. I don't get the perception for it because she says she doesn't take wine, but I prefer to feel comfortable when I'm having my dinner or lunch or something. Mm -hmm. So you've been Valentine's and all, mm -hmm. what had you planned for today? Seriously, nothing, because no, no, really. basically all Valentines have been single, so... Really? All of them? Yeah, all of them. And when did you start dating? When I was 16. When you were 16 <laughs> and all Valentines, yes. I've been, yeah, most of them I was in school, so the others, when I finished school, I've been single, so... No pun intended, watching it people. Sound, it's mad, but since I was able to break her first Valentine virginity, and I was able to take her out on a good date. I actually felt nice. It was awesome because for her, I think it was a good experience also to have done something new, something fast, because I believe it's new. And it actually feels good to be the first. It always does. What's the most memorable Valentine's Day? Most have? memorable? Uh. The one I had with my mom. Are you serious? Yeah. OK. Took my mom out for a Valentine's Day. Uh -huh. It was, it was nice. Mama's boy, huh? <laughs> you can say that, though. Seriously? Hmm? Wow, I am so afraid. Why? I don't know. Mama's boy have this thing where you can't compete with the mom, so you're like, uh, really? that party. Mom's really cool. Mm -hmm. Mama's boy. Very dangerous, because you, you cannot compete with the mom. The mom is like, up there and you're like up here trying to get up there and you will never get up there because first of all he values his mom so much and then the mom also doesn't see you as a person you can grow with she thinks she's the only woman in his life so when i told her about my mom that she was my first valentine i actually took on a, on a valentine date i actually felt nice about it because i'm honest about that and i'm really comfortable about talking about my mom she raised me well and i'm proud of that mm. you actually thinks i should get i should get a bit focused and be more serious mm. yes yeah, serious girlfriend oh. wow. she needs girl, grandchildren and all so you're just 25 yeah but she's old just yeah. 25 because i'm like what the fourth one in a family of five yeah. so i'm like ah uh, no wonder no wonder your mama's boy is the best memory you have is yeah it just basically shows he is so into his mom my mom is single mm -hmm. and um i don't have any brother i just have two sisters one elder sister and one younger sister mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. single know. mom no brothers so i don't really know how to be around men really uh -huh. Well, stick with me for a while. I'll teach you a few sure things. Yeah, I'll teach you a few sure things in there. Yeah. I, I love traveling. Do you love traveling? I love traveling. Where have you been? I love, I love going on safaris, actually. Uh -huh. oh, really interesting. In fact, in Kenya. 
Well, it's just spectacular. You have a spectacular country if you have never been. Where, where have you been to? I've been Masai Mara, Samburu. Samburu is actually nice. It's a bit dry because it's in the highlands and all, but it's really nice. It should be down there sometime. Savo is dry, but it's wide. And you can actually get the feeling of kind of like in Africa. Oh, yeah? Because it's really dry. Uh, guess where else? I don't usually like going down to the coast so much. Why? Because I'm from down there. Oh. That's why I kind of call home. So how, how did you like Mara? Like when Mara. did you go? Did you go long uh, ago? About like two months ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. Have fun. With friends and my family? Hmm. That's kind of a difficult question. Uh, with my ex. Your ex? You know, trust me. Lying on the first date, it's not my forte. So I just went with it, but it wasn't comfortable. Found it a bit too personal. Wow. It was kind of like an anniversary present. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long ago uh, did you break up with your ex? Like, it's been about you? four months ago. Four months? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I have been dating. So, been dating for the, the past two months or something. Two months? Yeah. Only? I'm trying to get back out there, <laughs> so... It's been four months, mm -hmm. two months ago, I, try, I tried to start out dating again. Oh, you, you dated her for how long? I thought you said uh, dating her for It's about two years. Two? Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's long. His, his ex story made me think he is this kind of guy who takes things seriously. Because him being in a relationship for two years is, is a plus. That means he is in it for the long run. Mm, so tell me, mm -hmm. like, where do you see yourself in like five years? Five years? Uh, opening another business somewhere. Because mm -hmm. we're only based in Kenya, so branching out to, let's say, Zanzibar, mm -hmm. another one, let's say, Uganda also. Mm -hmm. I want to cover like this region. And the way the market up in Sudan is actually opening up. Oh. I'd like to open a market up there too. Cool. How long ago did you start this? Uh, you're just 25 and uh, you have... Two years ago. Hey, Scania, you got oh. to move fast. Nice. <laughs> you got to move fast. I like that. You're so ambitious. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his ambitions impressed me. I wasn't planning actually to impress her. But I found it a bit too soon because it means that she's really ready for a serious relationship right now. And it being a first date, I'm not actually sure if she's the one. So I thought, I just went with it, I guess. But I'll prefer it to be a question for the third, fourth date or something, when we actually know, like, this is what I want, you know? So, mm -hmm. how do you find the meal? Oh, well, you told me it's not, it is amazing. I would eat this every single day. <laughs> every single day? I can, yeah. Wow. Every girl has to meet my father. Wow. Mm -hmm. I have four sisters, mm -hmm. so I need to get the feedback from them mm -hmm. for deciding, hey. After, after how long of dating them? Well, say a month. A month? Yeah. Wow. So you would introduce me to your mom after a month? Probably. You probably met her before. Uh -huh. Maybe in passing, but really meeting her, having a conversation, sitting down and actually enjoying your day with her, getting to know her, and she gets to know you, probably a month. Mm -hmm. I have that rule that every girl I date needs to meet my family, that's my mom and my sisters, because my mom raised me well, and I think if she raised me well and raised my sisters well, she kind of has an idea of what a good woman should be. My sisters, on the other hand, come on the part if she's right for me, because they know me best, and I converse with them the most. I could actually say they're my best friends. I think it's a good thing, because right now, like seriously, after that date, I called all my friends, I called my sister, and I'm like, yo, I want, I want to date with this cool guy and stuff and stuff. So I think it's a good thing that he introduces every chick to his mom or to his family a month after dating them and he said that is um that is official introduction there's this random introduction yo i have this chick i'm dating and stuff and stuff i think that's good because most guys when he doesn't want anything serious with you and he's not telling you he will not introduce you to the family
You had a good meal? I had a good time. It was uh, nice talking to you. Uh, I loved to spend some more time with you. Mm-hmm. I love to spend some more time with you. It's another time. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you let me take you out yeah, again. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. Uh, mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting anything much because blind dates are exactly that. Blind dates. You don't know anything about him. So when you're going on a blind date, my, my, my mantra has always been never dress up too much. Never show too much interest. And don't be all out. Because I've been on a blind date before and the guy was too short. I've been on another date and the guy was whack. So basically, me blind dates. Mm-mm. The date was the date was awesome. I enjoyed myself and I think I'm actually going to say it again. Because if you guys let me go, the things I need to go and do. Because trust me, she says it's not going to be an innocent date. So. Let's see what's up for the night, yeah?